Hello everybody, this is Team Bill Murray from MIS 4478 and my team members are Ben Ferry, Jason Long, and your speaker for today, Gustavo Vasquez. Today we are going to talk about Worth Law. Who is Worth? Definition of Worth Law what it is and also give you examples of worse law. Let us begin. The theory was created by Nicholas M. Worth, who was born in Winterthur, Switzerland, February 15, 1934. He is a Swiss computer scientist in which he earned his bachelor's in electronic engineering from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. He also earned a master's in science, but also received his PhD in electrical engineering and computer science. Between the years of 1968 and 1969, Word had developed the Pascal programming language and also pioneering topics on software engineering. In 1984, Word was awarded the Association for Computing Machinery or ACM Turing Award, which is the Nobel Prize of Computing for the creation of Pascal. Word is a very important image for the computer engineering topic that in 1995. He published a paper titled, A Plea for Leaner Software, where Word called out two very important statements, which are, software expands to fill the available memory, and software is getting slower more rapidly than hardware becomes faster. Both of these statements are important. But, the second statement defines Word's law. An example of Word's law would be, in this case, Microsoft Office. Office 2013 and the latest Office 2013. As you can see, Office 2003 requires 133 MHz or higher. 128 megabytes of RAM for operating systems and 245 megabytes of available space and hard drive. While Office 2013 requires 1 gigahertz or faster, 1 gigabyte of RAM for operating systems and 3 gigabytes of available space and hard drive. As you can see, Office 2013 require more hertz, RAM, and hard drive space than Office 2003 to properly work into its computers. What is Software Boot? Software Boot relates back to Word's first statement. The software expands to fill the available memory. Computer manufacturers keep increasing processing power and the amount of memory a computer can hold. Software developers simply add more complexity to programs in order to make them do more. The cause of software blue there are two reasons why this happens. The first one is customers. Customers or computer users who use the software casually. The other is the vendor of the software or people who create the software and putting everything together. The customer and the vendor don't work independently but come together to make a dependent relationship. 
this is the problem with customers and software vendors since they both work dependent from each other. Vendors make new software only thinking about themselves instead of what the customer really needs. Software tends to have unnecessary features and very complex that customers may find the software not user friendly. An example of software root is Windows XP and Windows Vista. These are the pros and cons of both window operation. Windows XP is fast, easily networkable, developer friendly, and easy. The cons of it, not very secure, and lots of back doors. Windows Vista is easier to use, more secure than XP, and sidebar and search features are new. But the cons of it different enough to confuse people, confusing, hard to install, and many programs not work on Vista. Windows Vista is by far one of the worst software Microsoft has ever published. Many users found out that Vista has so many bugs, problems, and very complicated to use that many people ended up sticking with Windows XP. Overall, Vista is what I call a great software boot since the user experience was not very friendly and so many issues with the software. <coughs> the solution to software boot. The software companies need to keep things simple for users to use. For example, Apple, they became very successful because they kept things simple. All of the products they created had to be easy to understand and learn. During the time, Steve Jobs would be the user of the product once it was done. All of the products are based from Steve Jobs representing the real customer. Overall, Apple just kept their products simple to use. I believe by using Apple strategy, it is a solution to software bloat, to keeping software simple and what the customer wants. This is our citation page. It has been a pleasure to speak for you guys and I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. Thank you for your time.